Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Department, this truth of rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And you, I say, Shalom to the Akim and to the Akwaf. That will be you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson is going to be entitled Every Day is Another Day Closer to the Return of Our Lord. Okay? Every day is another day closer to the return of our Lord, man. Okay? Uh, speaking of those whom love the appearing of our Lord. Those who, who love his appearing, man. Okay? Every day is another day closer to the return of our Lord. Okay? Because we, we in the end times, okay, we living in the last days, okay, when our Lord, okay, uh, came to the earth, that was the beginning, all right, of the starting of the end times, okay, all right, when the Lord was on the earth, that was the beginning, man, how much more right now, okay, so every day, is another day closer to the return of our Lord. We're seeing all the prophecies go forth, okay? We're seeing all the signs that the Lord uh, said we would see in these last times, in these last days, okay? Wars, rumors of wars, we've seen it all. We've seen it uproars of the peoples. We've seen earthquakes in diverse places. We've seen pestilence, okay? These are the signs that the Lord told the disciples in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, when they asked him, which will be the sign of thy coming? Okay, and the end of this world, meaning the, uh, the rulership of Esau, man. Okay, well, we're seeing those signs, and we're 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 rejoicing in the prophecies, and we're uh, 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 being comforted and being built up in the spirit by seeing these signs. Okay, and we hoping, okay, and praying and watching as the Lord commanded us to watch okay to um, filter these things to the scriptures and as the Lord say wait upon him and give attendance to reading we're watching we're praying okay and filtering these things uh, that we see through the scripture measuring the time as, as, as the scriptures say Second Ezra the ninth chapter to measure the time within itself diligently and when thou seest part of the sign Past, then thou shalt, thou shalt understand that at the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. So we, we in those times, man, and this is why we keep in watch as we are commanded to keep watch according to the book of uh, Luke, the 21st chapter, the 36th verse, also 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. Okay? So we see these things happening, okay? And we're, we're rejoicing, man, because why? We're patiently waiting upon the Lord as we were told to wait. The Lord said, uh, what's that, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8, Wait ye upon me until the day that I rise up to the prey. Okay? Because for my determination is to gather the nations to pour it upon them. My indignation, roughly paraphrasing. All right? So we're waiting upon the Lord, man. But every day that goes by, all right, every day is another day closer to the return of our Lord, man. Which is going to be one of the ultimate prophecies, man. When, when Yahweh Shai cracked those skies, man. Okay, but um, I'm gonna start off right here. The scriptures come. The scripture come to mind in the book of um, Second Ezra, chapter two, and verse thirteen. It says, "Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened." And that's what we're doing right now, man. All right, we're praying for a few days, man, because 
We live in a polluted land, man. We live in a polluted world, a polluted society, man. Okay, the book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 say, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, meaning in your mind. Detach from the matrix. Our Romans chapter 2 and verse 12, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, okay, it's saying, Arise and depart, meaning in your mind. For this is not your rest. This is not our rest. This is our rest is going to be in the kingdom. And that's why the apostle Paul said the labor that uh, that you may uh, uh, enter into that rest, man, meaning, meaning the kingdom. Okay? Uh, 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 when you read uh, 2 Ezra uh, chapter 8 and the 50th verse, so like about the 51st verse going down, okay, it says, But understand for thyself and seek out for such as be as thee. Okay? And to go into the kingdom, I would tell you that, you know, rest, rest is going to be into the kingdom, and plenty, plenteousness is made ready. Okay, and rest is going to be into in the kingdom. So that's why this is not our rest. Our rest is going to be into the kingdom, and that's why the apostle Paul said to, to labor that you may enter into that rest. You got to be doing the work. You got to make your body a living sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay, you got to keep your hand to the plow. The Lord said He's not going to have no pleasure in anyone that looks back. Okay, so we got to keep doing the work. We got to keep the faith until the end. Scripture says, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right? Matthew 24, verse 13. And so we pray. I pray that the Lord, speaking to myself first and foremost, I pray that the Lord keep the spirit on me to continue until the end. And I pray for the brothers, the elders, the sisters that believe in this truth and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Those that love is apparent, man. Okay? So it says, 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and verse 13, it says, Go, and ye shall receive... Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened, right? The kingdom is already prepared for you. Okay, it says, watch. Okay, the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. What did the Lord say? The Lord say, I go and prepare a place for you, man. In my father's house, as many mansions, man. If it was not so, I would tell you. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. You see? So at the end of the day. <laughs> Hey man, Yahweh Shai is going to return and set up the kingdom on earth. Okay, and it's going to be his rulership. Okay, and it's going to be complete order. Okay, as as the 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 the, the, the other one Palal. Okay, the Lord's prayer says, "So shall it be as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth." Man, complete order, man, and that's what we're waiting for, man. A, 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 a righteous kingdom, right? When you get the book of um. Second uh, Peter's chapter three and verse thirteen. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start up because that goes right into this lesson. It says, uh, verse twelve. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. We're, we're looking for our Lord to return, man. Our Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father is going to send His Son, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because we 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 gonna we crying, we crying unto the Lord to be delivered as an as an ancient Egypt. Okay, this spiritual Egypt, which is America. Okay, when you read um uh this is a, this is an in transit by the way. When you read Isaiah the uh, 19 chapter, it goes into that how how we would be oppressed and and we would cry unto the Lord. Okay, and that altar would be made. Meaning us standing out on the highways and the byways making our bodies a living sacrifice. The Lord is going to hear our cry and he's going to send us a savior and a great one. That's Yahweh Shai. He's going to return. Let's read this and I'll get to Isaiah 19. It says, looking for and hasting on to the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is the point. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, okay, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Okay, we're in dwelling righteousness and we're looking forward with this. And we know that's going to come when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns, man. Okay, what's what's left side up right now is going to be turned right side up, man. Okay, because the scripture speaks about how things are turned upside down and how the foundation of the earth is is, is out of course, man. All right, this, 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 this devil, man, Esau the wicked, man, you have, you have things turned upside down, man. All right, so uh, let's go to the book of... Uh, Isaiah and grab that right quick scene that I had mentioned it. Alright, this is Isaiah chapter 19 and 
I'll start at verse 19. It says, In that day shall there be an altar, right, to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. This is not talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about right now the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, because it's known as spiritual Egypt, according to Revelation the uh, uh, 11, chapter in the 8th verse. It says, And a pillar at the border thereof to Yahweh, verse 20. It says, And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, for they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, right? And he shall send them a savior, that's Yahweh Shai, and a great one, and he shall deliver them, right? So the Lord, okay, whose name is uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, um, remember his name is a Noman Omen, okay? Yahweh Shai, Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means uh, he saves or delivers, okay? His name is a Noman Omen, meaning his name says, okay what he's going to do in the future he's going to save his people okay matthew chapter uh one and verse 21 all right so yeah we we hasten on to the coming of the day of the lord man okay um um as we love we love his appearing man uh let me see if i could um if i could locate that scripture real quick Let me see if I can find that real quick. Bear with me here. Um, I think it's Apostle Paul who said it. Okay, uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. It says, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Okay, uh, this is the Apostle Paul. He's speaking about him finishing his course. As a matter of fact, let me uh, go to this and read up one verse. It says, verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course, right? I have kept the faith. And and, and, and as an exhortation to the brothers that are listening, okay, um, this is what you got to do, man. It's, and the sisters that believe, you have to uh, continue your course, man, to fight the good fight of faith. It says, verse 8, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. You see? So a, there is a, a reward, man. All right? Did not Peter ask the Lord, what shall we have there for? Matthew, the 19th chapter. The Lord said, uh, you know, whatever you uh, lose for his name's sake, you're going to receive a hundredfold, man. To those who lose houses, jobs, wives, whatever, man, you're going to have a hundredfold, man. So there is a reward, okay? It says, and henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, meaning the apostle Paul, okay? Second Timothy chapter four, uh, four, verse eight, okay? Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing, that love his appearing, right? We love his appearing. We want the Lord to return and take us out of these conditions, man. Get us from underneath these curses and from all these heathens ruling over us, man. We want to be in rulership, man. We got a uh, 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 rulership mentality, man. We're not, we're not, we're not in black culture, man. All right, we we, we come back to ourselves through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the spirit is poured out upon uh, 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 those. Uh, the, the, uh, the, that the Lord uh, will, will, will show his favor and his mercy unto man. The scriptures say the Lord will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy and he will harden whom he will harden, man. Okay, so Barakata Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man, for his love, his mercy, and his grace. Okay? Um, yeah, so for those who love his apparent, man, hey, we, we, we want the Lord to shorten the days as he said, man. Uh, okay, we got it in uh, Second Ashes, the 13th chapter, the second chapter, the 13th verse. Let's get it in, uh, uh, what's that? It's, uh, what's it, Matthew? Matthew, uh, Matthew 24 and verse 21, or 22, I think it is. Come, it says, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, let me read up one. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now, this scripture right here, verse 21, is twofold, because that's going into uh, 70 AD, okay, when uh, uh, Titus and his son Vespasian, they sacked Jerusalem, man, and we have to run down into the interiors of Africa. 
But this is also going into the end time prophecies right now. How do you know that? Because the second verse tell you that. All right, the verse 21 was going into the time of 70 AD, right? But it's a twofold scripture going into even right now because the second verse tell you says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, right? But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord is going to shorten the days, all right? Because this, this devil, okay, the wicked Esau, all right? Everywhere you go, wickedness follow, man. The scriptures say in the book of Habakkuk, he's as death, all right? And, and cannot be satisfied. He can never have enough, all right? He, 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 he to the point where he, he want to have your minds. He want to control your mind. He want to he want to see everything you do. He want to he want to he want to uh, uh, force you to get that digital oh man, the karagma, all right? So he can never have enough, man, all right? And at the rate they're going, the Lord said, if you don't shorten the days, there would no flesh be saved. But, but, but for the elect's sake, the Lord said he's going to shorten the days. I and mean, this is why we need the Lord, man. Okay? This is why we need the Lord. And every day, okay, is another day closer to the return of our Lord. Okay? You see how hot the sun is? It seems like every day the sun getting hotter. Every year is getting hotter. <laughs> right? How, how, how much more longer than that? All right? How much harder it's going to get? It's getting it get hot in many ways. Okay? Physically hot with heat, temperature, and the things that's happening on the earth. It's getting hot, man. We need the Lord to return and deliver. Okay? The elect. I don't want to write prayer. I'm of that special number. Okay? But, um, yeah, every day that goes by is another day that's closer to the return of our Lord, and and that's what we're waiting on, man. That's what we're waiting upon. We waiting on we waiting on the Lord, man. Um, let me see if I can get something. Uh, the scripture speaks about they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up with wings. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me let me show you one of the benefits of waiting on the Lord. Let's go to that. Let's go to uh, what's that? Isaiah chapter forty. Isaiah the fortieth chapter. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse, I start at verse uh, 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Meaning they're going to have spiritual powers, man. Okay. And even those of uh, 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 the rest of the elect, okay, if they if they if they, even, if they if they isn't given spiritual powers, at the end of the day, when they're delivered, they're going to be changed, which means they're still going to have that that power, okay? Because the scripture speaks about being changed in the twinkling of an eye. See, this is a part of the promise, man. This is why we want our Lord to return. This is why we love His apparent, and we know to the sperm power of the Abashim or Shai that every day, okay, is another day closer to the return of our Lord. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to rejoice in, okay? That's something to uh, sing sims, so like it, sing, sing hymns unto the Lord, okay? And, uh, and stay in prayer. As, as a matter of fact, let me end with that scripture, that scripture that comes to mind. The book of Ephesians, and I'll get ready to close it out, okay? So this video is for those that love his apparent, man. Those that, 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 that hope in Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man, okay? We know that hope go into expectation. We want to be delivered, so we're doing the things that, okay, that is conducive to being delivered man if we have that special number of the elect okay so uh this is the book of um ephesians the book of ephesians and that's why the scripture speaks about uh uh, uh saving up your treasure in heaven man okay because 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 wherever your heart is okay wherever your treasure is that's where your heart will be also okay the lord tells you to don't store up your treasure on the earth where thieves break through and steal and, 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 and rust and moth and those kind of things roughly paraphrasing it Matthew the uh, 6th chapter and the 19th verse okay but, but it says to store up your treasure in heaven man okay that's where you can have those spiritual shackles okay but this is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 it says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereon too with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints okay uh it's another one that comes to mind. Speak about 
the, the hymns, singing hymns. I think it's uh, Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Let me see if I uh, could locate that real quick. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Okay. This is the book of Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Okay, and the 19 verse, it says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And this is what we got to do in the meantime, between time, until our Lord returns, man. We read it again, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, okay, and making melody in your heart, okay, to the Lord. All right, so this is what we got to do, man. Give attendance to the to reading, as the Lord says. All right, and that's wait upon His return, man. Because only the Lord could deliver us. It's nothing carnal could deliver us. It's a spiritual thing. That's why the scripture said the, we the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay, but um, yeah, the whole the, po the whole point is to wait upon the Lord, and that's no and rejoicing that we know that every day is another day to the uh, every day is another day closer to the return of our Lord, man. So. I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you're edified. On to the next one. Shalom.